The MacBook Air F1 is now available for 55,990 rupees on Amazon with a card offer. If you are planning to buy this MacBook Air right now, watch this video till the end. You know the problems you might face, especially with the 256 GB model that comes with 8 GB off RAM. Spoiler alert, I have been using the MacBook Air M1 for over a month and I'll be posting more videos about this in upcoming weeks. But it's high time we can talk about the reality of this device. I'm using the 512GB variant with 16GB of RAM but the one listed on Amazon is the 256GB version with 8GB of RAM. If you are a casual user who just want to experience the MacBook for watching movies, browsing the internet or doing everyday tasks without any video editing or gaming, then the 256GB model is good enough. However, if you are planning to buy this MacBook Air M1 for video editing or content creation, I strongly recommend reconsidering. It's not that the M1 chip is bad. It is actually great and can handle 4K video editing smoothly even in Premiere Pro. But the main issue lies in RAM management and storage. The 256GB variant won't be sufficient in 2024 or even 2025. Out of the box, you don't get the full 256 GB because some of it is already used by the system software and updates. If you plan to install high-end softwares like Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop and other apps, this 256 GB variant won't last you more than a couple of months. You will need to buy an external SSD to overcome the storage limitations. That's manageable but what about the RAM? Unlike Windows laptops, MacBook RAM cannot be upgraded. Trust me, based on my experience, if you plan to use the MacBook for few years, opt the higher end variant with 16 GB RAM and 512 GB storage. So if you are buying the MacBook for content creation like video editing or photo editing, you will also need to invest in an external SSD which cost an additional 5000 to 6000 rupees because you need faster read and write speeds. On the brighter side, the battery life is excellent, no complaints there. You can go for MacBook if you are mainly using it for content consumption, internet browsing, lots of typing or even coding. That's the quick update I want to share about the MacBook Air M1 pricing on Amazon. Also, I have made it a video on how to spot price gimmicks during online sales before making a purchase. If you are interested, check the link in the description box or click here.